Hey everyone, welcome to my garden and today I want to plant with you some of my tomatoes as you see right over here and right up top there we have we have planted two tomatoes I just basically threw in a bunch of seeds in here just to assure germination and make sure that things come up and sure enough every single one of these germinated which I'm really happy about and I planted these on the 27th of May uh, sorry of July and today is already the 30th so it's been basically three days and in three days it reached basically this height so just about an inch long and each one has starting to put on basically it's first sets of leaves right in between here they're starting to grow you might be able to see a little clear right on this one right over there you can see really small and right over here this is a nice quick way to basically germinate a bunch of seeds in a really small area as opposed to this for example like i planted like for example one seed in here you know a few seeds in there one in here like this you could just throw in a bunch of seeds and after it gets to this stage this is when i like to come in and basically transplant them into their own individual homes so that's what we're gonna do and this tomato right over here the is basically the tomato black vernus age this one look how beautiful this tomato looks right there this is a nice little cherry tomato it's only a two ounce tomato so it's really quite small and I got this from Baker Baker Creek heirloom seed company just basically from rareseeds.com and this was actually a free packet that they gave me so I'm trying it out and this seed right over here those seedlings are this beautiful tomato here which is basically called the uh, I already forget tomato Wagner blue green and this is one of the most beautiful cherry tomatoes I've ever seen so I'm really excited to grow this look at this deep beautiful purple with a little yellow hints and inside when you slice it open it's nice green and it should be a pretty small tomato yeah three inches in diameter so that's pretty small so nice quick way to germinate some seeds and now it's basically planted so what you need is basically a few things we're going to need some coca core or you could use some soil or whatever grow media of your choice anyone should work so i got my coca core right here so next thing you need is basically just a little net cup that you plant you're putting everything into so let's do that real quick and let me just grab everything, I apologize. All right. So let's actually take, let's just take four for now, just to start. So what I like to do is fill it, fill them in. And let's actually wet this cocoa quartz because it's quite dry. You can just throw the water right in and mix it up. So as you see, it turns from a nice brown color to a nice dark brown. So you know the consistency is when you squeeze it in your hand, look at that, it stays in there. And actually when I squeeze, you could see all the moisture running off of my hand here. So this thing absorbs water really well and it actually retains the moisture for a very long time, which is why this is one of my main choices to grow and it does a really good job with pests you don't have too many pests sometimes you have those little those little gnats that fly around but once the coca cord dries out and the root system actually grows from the net cup down below once the root system like you see down here I didn't even know that the root system reached all the way down so fast it's only been three days so now at this point is when I want to actually add in the some water until the first true leaves grow in and you want to fill it up this way then it's touching the very bottom of the net cup so let's just quickly do this part and transplant some seeds or some seedlings now so we got that ready now you could just simply come in and just grab it with your fingers and carefully just pull that right out 
and there we have it nice little root system so push your finger a little in and with tomatoes everything you see basically right over here there's the tiny little little hairs all of that will turn into a root into roots if you bury it so I'm gonna put that in nice and deep and just give it a nice little pinch around you don't want to push it push it down or squeeze it you may damage the root system or damage the plant so there we have it now what I basically want to do is just I'm gonna keep watering this thing by hand every day until I see the root system reach the bottom here at which point I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna transplant all of these tomatoes the same way so the only thing I need now is a jar to place this into or if you want you could even just put it down in a little dish or tray if you have it so if it, as long as it doesn't spill down to the bottom you're not really wasting the excess all the water that's spilling all down so you could reuse that and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for all of these tomatoes and soon enough we'll come back in about two weeks and I'll show you what both of these tomato plants look like so if you like the episode or have any questions Hit the thumbs up and leave the questions down below. I'll do my best to answer everything. And as always, thanks for watching.